I'm so excited to be here this evening for the opening night of Picture This because it's, it's a really special thing to be there at the opening night of an entirely new creation. This is a brand new creation. It is adapted from um, a, a, a script called The Battle of Waterloo by Melchior Lengel, adapted by Brenda Robbins and by Morris Panitch. The play, I think, is um, a bit of a love letter to creation. I haven't seen the production, but I was in the room uh, for an early reading of it, and I nearly busted my gut. It's very funny. I really enjoyed myself. And um, I later talked to Brenda Robbins, one of the co-authors of this new script, about it. And she, uh, she told me that it was, she just wanted to give people joy, is how she described it. So I, I'm really excited to be here tonight. Just a, a, a little bit about the play. Um, it's uh, the golden age of the silent film era. It's the 30s. We're in Hungary and uh, 20s. Thank you, Morris. See, we're going to get the guy who actually knows what he's talking about up here in a minute. And um, it's the golden age of the, the silent film era. And we're in Budapest and uh, in Hungary. And uh, this bigwig Hollywood director comes to town and everybody is falling all over themselves to get a bit of attention from him. I know exactly how that feels because I do it all the time. <laughs> Um, and, uh, <laughs> and now I want to introduce to you somebody whose work I've been reading and studying ever since I was a, a young actor in theater school, before theater school, and after theater school. I've read so many of his plays. He is a renowned Governor General Awards winning playwright and an, a director who's directed internationally. And on top of that, he makes me very tongue-tied. So I'm thrilled to invite Morris Panish to come up here and tell you a bit about the play. Uh, first of all, this, this play is a grand collaboration. Uh, Brenda Robbins received the script. Uh, uh, a great friend of Soul Pepper, Laszlo Marton, gave her a copy of this script called The Battle of Waterloo, by Melchior Lenyo, yeah. and uh, told her it was very funny. It was in Hungarian, so she had to take his word for it. <laughs> but she got it translated, and at it's, that point... It's Hungarian funny. <laughs> <laughs> take that, what you will. Anyway. So did she then, she came to you and said, check this out? Yeah, she asked me to collaborate. I, I actually hate collaborating. Um, it's not something <laughs> I, I love. Uh, but I love Brenda, and she's like, oh, this play is so funny. And, and we read the, the, um, the Hungarian version. It was like, whoa, a lot of work. Uh, but we decided to do it because it seemed kind of interesting. The subject was interesting. It was something that was close to us because it's about people trying to make art and people trying to produce it. And, and uh, so it was kind of exciting to, to approach that kind of subject. Also, Melchior Lengel, he, he ended up going to Hollywood as a writer and writing. He wrote Ninochka, the film, and uh, he, he, he ended up being quite a, a well-known Hungarian mm -hmm. um, <laughs> film writer, from, you know, from who was in Hollywood. So he did do that journey. Yeah. So this, when, so this is a very personal story in a way for him. This comedy yeah, of very much so. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so you hate collaboration. So how did you do it? Did you you, you email things? Back well, Brenda is very, she's very persuasive, and um, I said to her, I'm a terrible collaborator. I don't like writing with other people. I don't know how we're going to do this. So I said, you do a pass. You know, you do like a, a, a like a, a version of it, and then I'll get it and I'll do a pass. And so we kind of went back and forth. We didn't actually sit down and write it together. We kind of like went back and forth with right, it. Right. But then in the end, and also Brenda's in the show, so that made it kind of more interesting and complicated. But Brenda was also in Parfumery, so mm -hmm. you know that. Just kind your other of, collaboration. Yeah, yeah. Which means she's in the room all the time, uh -huh. which is great. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it was it was really good. It was, right. it was a good collaboration. And speaking of collaboration, you and Ken McDonald have worked together on so many fantastic. Well, projects. that's not really a collaboration because, as Ken always says, why do you always get to have the last word? Mm. Um, and I say because I'm the director. But Ken and I have collaborated on a hundred shows. We've done, I think we've done a hundred shows. We've done like six here. The very unpopular government inspector. We did um, uh, Blight Spirit here. Ghosts. That was your best set, I think. Ghosts. 
You're making this look on your face. But. <laughs> Ken's also collaborated with other directors here at Soul Pepper. Mm -hmm, Ken's designed, I think, uh, 200 shows. A lot. Can't keep track. Yeah. <laughs> but if you really look at his work, he comes back to about four looks. <laughs> and they're all in our house, somewhere. This is <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, this is great. perfumery. Instead of pink, it's turquoise. Well, both, I mean, the, the glimpses I've had of this set make me drool. It is yeah. so beautiful. And you get to have Hungary in the 20s, yeah. like the costumes and set of Hungary yeah. in the 20s, yeah. and then you go to the, the Napoleonic era, right? You're, no. You're, you're, no. Oh, no. No, you really have to watch this I thing. really have to watch this show. No, we, we, go to, to, we go to the film studio you to the shoot the studio. Napoleonic era. Uh, yeah. uh, well, yes, exactly. Yeah. And, and so you've got sort of these layers upon layers and yeah. film inside theater. That's right. Do you, have you worked much in film? Um, I, I directed some <clears throat> music videos. I directed the film of The Overcoat. Mm -hmm. um, I, directed tele I directed Da Vinci's Inquest, which was a nightmare. <laughs> Um, uh, but not a lot of, I haven't directed a lot of film. I, I, act, I used to act in films right. a lot when I was younger. Right, right, right. When the film industry was big in Vancouver, but the only reason they were hiring the Canadians was because we were cheap. Yeah, I've been there, I've been there. And that's kind of the subject of this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what were some of the dreams and challenges of bringing a film set to the theater stage? Um, hmm. Well, I promised inane questions, remember? Yeah, that's way less inane than I thought you would oh, ask. Oh, good. Um, the challenge, well, it's easy to present a, a film studio like we do here because all it is is a bunch of stuff piled up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like really, it's like, you know, a, a film studio is a bunch of things that are about to happen or not happen, if you've ever been to one. Lots of configurations of sets and that. We start... The, in Act One, we start in a hotel, and it takes up a lot of space. And so, the the um, the technical uh, people were really good at. You'll see how they deconstructed that huge space and made it into something completely different. You'll be amazed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. Um, and it, it's comedy. It's it's. It involves yeah. physical comedy, slapstick as well? A lot of that, yeah. It's completely mindless. <laughs> <laughs> and so the process in the rehearsal hall, trial, how does comedy work? Is it trial and error? Or is it, is it it's speed. It's speed? It's Not time. speed, but it's like people, in comedy you can't let people think. You can't let the audience think. You can't let the, the characters think. You, it has to move. Because if they think, they, they'll make other decisions. Mm -hmm. Comedy is about moving very quickly through ideas and and that's what makes it fun so mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to create that kind of you know but well, we're trying to kind of like create this dazzling mess so hopefully that's what you'll see i hope <laughs> more dazzling than mess. <laughs> I, i've got two more questions for you yeah. you got some um, in your cast you have uh people, the best cast ever the best cast ever yeah. you've really got people true. you've worked with before and some newcomers i think probably i've worked with 10 of them um, there's 15 in the cast. Huge. We have four or five newcomers. Really great to have them in the company. Just brand new people who've never, in some cases, never done a stage play before. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and uh, some who've never done Soul Pepper before. So it's very exciting. It's, uh, and brought from all different kinds of parts of theater, stunt people and, and, and movement people and actors. And so, it's, yeah, it's a great group of people. And then Nancy and Jordan and Michelle and... Gregory and all the Soul Pepper people too. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, the well, I lied. I have now. I have two more questions. Um, the play opens with all of these actors who are desperate, and if you know actors, that is the natural state of the actor, uh, kind of falling all over themselves to meet and impress this Hollywood director. Now. You're a pretty renowned director and playwright, um, and I'm curious. Uh, does that happen to you all the time? <laughs> I can't even get work. So I, I don't know. Well, no, that does not happen to me. I'm Because I'm a Canadian. Ah, yes. <laughs> Welcome doesn't happen to, to Canada. Canadian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm fumbling all over myself to impress you. Um, so um, my very last question is purely yeah. anything you want to tune these people to watch when they head into the theater tonight. Yeah, I think you should just leave your expectations at the door. There's nothing to be said in this play. <laughs> There's no information, there's no political message, it's just pure fun.